welcome back to my kitchen and today we're gonna make salmon cakes okay 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 I know it sounds complicated but it's really not it's easy AF Okay, so I love making salmon cakes because I eat salmon for dinner two, three times a week and I always have leftover. So take your leftover already cooked salmon fillets and make salmon cakes out of them. Or poach off a fresh salmon fillet just by cooking it in water, salt, and lemon and then you can start from scratch. So the hardest part about this is cutting your veggies, right? We have celery and red onion, we have peppers, and that's it. That's not so hard, right? I have orange and red peppers here. Take a little time to do the prep. Cut these nice and small and add them in. You can add in whatever you like, whatever vegetables. If you like garlic, you can put it in. If you wanna put some tomatoes in here, this is just like a crab cake, right? The simpler, the better. And it's bound together with an egg and some mayo. You can make your own mayo or you can certainly buy mayo. As you can see, my measurements are a little bit loose, as always. Um, a little bit of mustard. This just really gives it some zing and mustard and salmon. Come on, it's like peanut butter and jelly. And seasoning, of course. I season my salmon when I cook it, but I also season it for the salmon cake because so many other veggies go in here, right? And then if you love capers, put them in. I love capers. This also gives it a little bit of acid. We're gonna put some lemon in there as well, but the capers really give it a zing. Okay, so seasoning is in. I'm gonna go in with a spoon at first, but honestly, my hands are going in here. We're gonna add some breadcrumb. Plain breadcrumb, you can use Japanese breadcrumb, anything you like. And just dose it until it comes together without being really dry and Cakey. I know it's called a salmon cake, but we want it to be really tender and we want it to be juicy. Now, herbs are important. And again, we want to make this as easy as possible. I'm literally taking my kitchen shears and putting some dill, which I love, and a little bit of parsley. This is the best time of year if you have an herb garden. Grab whatever's in the herb garden. You can put basil in here, you can put chives in here. I just love that freshness of the herbs. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, I'm getting my hands in. I'm getting them in. I can't not do it with my hands. My hands are clean. And this helps me ensure that all the salmon is broken up, but not too broken up. I'm gonna put in a little more breadcrumb, and then I'm gonna form it, and I'm gonna make a tester. Okay, I'm gonna give this a taste. Hmm. It has good flavor, but it needs a little more seasoning. So I'm gonna use my Green Queen spice blend that has tarragon, dill, basil. This will really give it that pop of freshness. It's mine, so check it out in the caption. All right, let's mix that up. All right, so what I do is I heat the pan and I use olive oil, and you've seen this method before, and then I use a little bit of butter. Now this is essentially cooked, right? So you don't need a lot of time in the pan. It's just the egg that's raw in here. So all we're gonna do is form the salmon cakes. Try and just make one hand messy. And I like to make them like the size of a crab cake. And then you can make these for little hors d'oeuvres. People are always asking me, oh, somebody asked me to come over and bring an hors d'oeuvre, what should I bring? How about some salmon cakes? A little herb mayo on top, yum. Okay. Just put them in the breadcrumb, turn it over once. Let's make one more. Okay, right, my pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna get some brown butter in there. And in goes the salmon cake. Look at that. Mm. That sizzle of that butter, it's gonna brown the breadcrumb and give that a little extra fat. I mean, really there's no fat in here, right? Ah, maybe a little mayo, maybe a little egg. But this salmon is good fat. So we're gonna cook those on both sides. Make sure it's warm all the way through. 
and then we're gonna plate it. Okay, that's it. Brown on both sides, get ready to plate. So I just made this yogurt herb sauce that I'm gonna put it on top of. Or we can turn it into a salmon burger. Come on, how versatile is this? Not only is this made from leftover salmon, but then we can make it into an appetizer, an entree, or a burger! Come on, come on. Not only is it easy AF, but it's versatile AF. Yeah, and it's so delicious. Salmon cakes, easy AF.